Hey guys, today I'm going to do a hair video, kind of like a question and answer. I get a lot of really nice questions and comments about my hair, like if I color my hair, how long it is, how often I get it cut, etc, etc. So I wanted to do a like overall video to kind of address all of those questions. Then again, this video is not about me just like talking about myself, like I actually want to give you guys information that maybe is helpful to you or advice or whatever I can do because I don't just want to sit here and talk about myself. So um, with that said, let's get started and if there are any more questions that I didn't answer then please feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them for you guys as well. So let's get started. I don't color my hair completely, I have highlights in my hair. I have a gold tone highlight and a caramel tone highlight. And I only have them in the top section of my hair. I ask my hair colorist to do first the gold, then the caramel, then the gold and the caramel. Really, really very thin bits, because I don't like to have like chunky color in my hair. I kind of want it to blend naturally. But the base color is my own, like the very dark brown color that's my own. And since I don't color it down here, this is uh, significantly darker than the rest of my hair, which I like. I highlight my hair about once a year only. I don't like to do it too much because it does dry your hair out hair is naturally straight with a little bit of wave in it. It's pretty thin. It's not as thick as it may appear to be. I think it just styles really easily and if I blow dry it the right way, upside down, and get a lot of volume in it, it tends to have quite a lot of body, but it's not like that thick. That's pretty much how thin my hair is, like on one side. So I don't have that much hair, but then again, um, the texture allows me to work with it in different ways to create volume and stuff. My hair is cut in a V shape, like that, and it has layers in it. So my hair is up to kind of like the lower point of my back, but it's curled right now, so it's a little bit shorter. This part of my hair right here is probably up to like my chin. And then I have like a layer here, a layer here, and then the last layer here. I really like it shaped that way because it does make it look really nice and kind of fuller than if, if it was just like one straight cut and like in a box shape. I get my hair cut in Geneva, Switzerland in the Damia salon. His name is Damia. He cuts my hair. He is amazing. He has a great salon and I miss him so much and I'm sure he's watching this video. He knows exactly what he's doing. He has actually been cutting my hair for more than I'd say seven years and even though I don't live in Geneva right now, whenever I go back home to visit my family then he will cut my hair for me. I usually cut my hair about two times a year or three times a year. To grow long hair the main thing is taking care of it, making sure that it's not dry, making sure that you're nourishing your hair because obviously if you want to grow your hair long and your hair starts to break because it's dry then it's just going to cut itself pretty much and it won't be able to maintain the resistance to grow long. So by nourishing I mean you need to condition it, you need to make sure that you're not putting too much heat into your hair or if you are then protect it using like a heat tamer, or heat spray like the Tresemme one is really good. And also the most important thing actually is having a healthy diet. Eating a balanced diet including vegetables and fish and nuts and all of those things are very important to grow your hair long because after all your hair growth doesn't start from here, it starts from your scalp. I looked up some foods that are good for like healthy hair and the first one is salmon and salmon is good because it has fish oils in it and if you guys watched my last haul video I had that 369 omega oils so those are found in salmon and in other fish and dark green vegetables beans are good nuts poultry eggs whole grains oysters low-fat dairy products carrots and yeah, so pretty much just like healthy food in general is going to be good for your hair and also good for your skin and your nails and yada yada. I don't really have like a favorite shampoo, but as far as conditioners, I really like the Tresemme Nourishing Moisture Conditioner. This is by far my favorite conditioner. I use it all the time and I really do recommend it. It's pretty inexpensive and it's really, really good. When I get out of the shower, I also like to spray my hair with a leave-in conditioner to give it like extra nourishment. And I really like the Afoji Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. 
looks like that and it's only four dollars and 99 cents so it's pretty you know cheap so yeah I really like this just to spray on my hair when it's wet when I get out of the shower then uh, to protect your hair is very very important I like the Tresemme heat tamer spray and that's what I use before ever I curl my hair or blow dry it or whatever I do to it I always put this in and it's also nice to have like a deeper conditioning to your hair once in a while so I like to use the K-Pak Moisture Intense Hydrator by Joyco this is really nice I use this maybe like once a month for maybe like an hour just to really give a lot of nourishment that my hair loves it looks really really nice and shiny and soft and that stuff afterwards so yeah I really like this one and this one retails for $15 when you guys see me in my videos, I have my hair kind of like wavy, but I don't actually do anything to it. All I do is put it in a like little ballerina bun about here on my head. That makes it like look wavy. And I guess since my hair is pretty um, thin, it kind of adapts to the shape that you put it in. So that's pretty much all that I do. I rarely use heat products, like very, very rarely. Like maybe once every two months or something then I will curl my hair like I did today but today is a special occasion because I'm doing this video for you guys so I don't curl my hair that often but um, you know it's because it's not that good for your hair but usually like on a day-to-day -day basis I will just leave it in a bun and then take it out put it back in the bun take it out so it's like nice and wavy so the way I get volume into my hair is either the bun thing, that really works well. Whenever I get out of the shower, when I wash my hair, I flip my head over, like when it's almost dry, then I blow dry my hair for maybe 15 seconds at the most. And my hair is like, boom, like it's humongous. And then it has to like calm down a little bit. And that's pretty much how I get volume into my hair. And then you can also tease your hair um, very, very gently. You get like a teasing comb and or like push your hair up like that with the teasing comb. That seems to work really well for people. I haven't really tried that, but I do want to get a teasing comb and try that out. So my favorite curling irons at the moment are definitely the Numi ones. These were sent to me, but I'm not getting paid to say any of this. But this is the 25 millimeter curling wand, and it looks like this, and it's clipless. So you just wrap your hair around it and it twists like that so you know you won't have like your hair or your arm like getting stuck like this will kind of go with you this is what gave me these waves today and i do have a hair tutorial for this look i will put the link down below and i love this one as well this is the vintage one it's the limited edition and it's a pink straightening iron and it looks like that very 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 pretty and it's really good quality and gives amazing, amazing results. So I really like that one. Another one that I like to use is the GH straightening irons. These are so old. These are probably like five or six years old or something. And I've been using these for a really long time. And I really like them. They still lasted me. And your hair just glides really, really smoothly. But um, yeah, those are pretty much the curling irons that I like. And with these straighteners, I curl my hair also. I rarely straighten my hair since it's already straight. I wash my hair every like three to four days. I don't think it's good to wash it too often. Your hair creates oils and it needs those oils for the scalp to keep the scalp healthy. And if we're constantly scrubbing at our scalp, we're removing those oils. When we remove the oils, your hair gets um, dry, it, your scalp gets itchy, and you can have a bunch of problems. So I just like to wash my hair every three to four days. I also think that it gets less greasy that way because if you're washing your hair too much your hair like freaks out and it starts producing a lot a lot of oils and that's why your hair gets greasy you can actually train your hair to become less greasy and the way you do that is take a week where you're not going to be like doing many things like in public or whatever and just don't wash your hair keep your hair in a bun and just don't wash it doesn't matter how greasy it gets how disgusting it gets just don't wash it for like a week then wash it and your hair will be so so shiny and it's not going to get as greasy as fast anymore so you can train your scalp that way it's a kind of like a rehab for your hair but um yeah that's another way to kind of get 
your hair to become less greasy over time. Alright guys, so those are some of the questions that you guys have asked me over the past couple of months about my hair. And thank you so much for all of your sweet comments. They mean so much to me. And um, please let me know if you guys have any more questions. I will answer them down below. And I'll also post a link to this hairstyle that I have right now. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe that you learned something. Again, I don't want to sit here and just talk about myself. I hope that maybe you guys got some tips, ideas, advice, whatever, that you benefited from watching this video. So I love you guys and thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!